Hey my friend, it's Bren Blaze with Elevation Guild. In this video you will learn about a cutting edge technological innovation that is emerging out of the world of virtual reality. It is being labeled extended reality as it merges the virtual world with the real world truly in a way that has never been done before. I think your mind will be blown when you see what's actually happening out there. It's disrupting the sports industry in a really big way. It's worth over $300 million already. It's part of a company that's worth over a billion dollars that we recently invested in. So if you like what you hear in this video, go ahead and click the links in the description to learn more about it. There's a short window of opportunity that you can get in at the early stage with an investment that you're comfortable with. So enjoy the rest of the video. I've just received our valuation certificate, 300 million plus. And the IP is registered. I have the certificate of copyrights registered. Have a look at the number of countries we've registered at. At the moment, I'm in mainland China. Where I've already made a deal with the biggest, biggest uh, screen manufacturer for our VR headset that we're going to build an, um, a unique headset for pro athletes uh, to enjoy. We're building our own hardware, smart wearables, uh, biometrics detection, you name it. I'm going to go through a little presentation. Let me share it uh, with you. So, yes, uh, we're building an XR uh, experience that will become or is becoming a global thing. We will dominate the space. We're combining the real fo football with XR itself, extended realities. And I'll tell you this. This is going to be a new way of uh, delivering the entertainment creating the entertainment and actually exercising as well. Uh, we're going, uh, we're picking the same format as before. So the, we're looking at football. We're trying to replicate the uniforms to look standard, everything to look standard. However, um, even even down to the team size, however, we're, we're going to combine things like this, you know, Dubai versus uh, France, for example, with teams being located in their respective uh, home uh home turf and they'll be able to actually play a football in the same space on the in virtual and we will be able to take uh the spectatorship to the next level never seen before we're going to be the first ones in the world we're going to build this nobody else has cracked it like no money can solve it it's the knowledge that we've accommodated with my master in the last 10 years working proactively creating new tech uh new solutions uh, we've been in advisory boards and, and on to so many different corporations that needed like specific uh, solutions. Now we're combining all that massive knowledge. Uh, the star team is assembled now. We, we, we talked about 500 people working. Actually, Dima uh, is meeting the new 100 people we've employed whilst he was, you know, whilst he dashed to uh, Rio and back. So you can see how quickly we're expanding. I, I mean, even okay. I don't know some people that we've hired in the last two weeks that we've been traveling with uh, my CTO. So um, we've only seen, I've only seen their CV resumes uh, and yeah, we are excited. Uh, it's going to be huge. When we look at full immersion, uh, it gives us multiple things that we can employ. So we're going to collect a lot more metrics because the actual game is digitalized. There's a physical people playing on the field, but we digitalize them live in real time, so we can collect all the data possible. We can see all the performance metrics. We can conduct uh, competitions between different locations where we'll become limitless. So we are, we ourselves are limitless, aren't we? Uh, aren't we? So uh, this gives us a, an opportunity to actually create the new type of football, new new type of games. But we're also working on other titles, other different kinds of sports. And when we look at other potential we can switch to uh things like arcade style football to capture and bring more clientele more customers potential followers from other types of esports uh we we're talking about new um younger generations which probably don't uh don't find it as exciting as it is now we're going to engage more people in general because we're combining the real football with something uh, new, something digitalized. And so in a digital space, uh, we can customize and create artificial intelligence uh, players to play against people. So one can train against somebody who's a famous star, superstar. And on top of that, we can allow to change the parameters of 
the professionalism. So we're talking about going 10 years back, for example, with the same player. How how good was he like when he was 18? How good was he when he was 25? How good is he uh, at the age of 30, for example? So all of that, we can we can access, we can build that and train neural networks. And then we talked about show match format. Imagine we can have a whole team assembled from uh, players who've never played before uh, together, you know, as a team. So fully fully virtual, fully AI-driven uh, team to play against a physical team. So that's going to be exciting. Um, we're building a global story, so we're going to kick off with 32 teams straight away uh, across 16 countries, and we're going to run a whole a tournament, a whole to the champion, championship straight away from the onset. Imagine, we're going global from day one. And when we switch to uh, the fantasy football uh, for, for the younger generations or for other types of esport uh, competitions, imagine we can switch the locations. We can play inside a volcano or in space. Uh, we can change the team size, make it simpler, make it bigger, make it make it, make change all the buffs as well. We're talking about faster shots or give the goalkeeper that shield that he needed all the time. <laughs> so... It's incredible what we can do in the digital space. And on top of that, if we're talking about um, going big, we're already uh, kicked off. And, and actually, in fact, in a, in a few weeks, we're finishing the XR Lab, we, to which we've already invested over a million dollars. It's going to be an exciting playground, a testing ground. Uh, we're going to build new things. We're looking at different types of sports as well to, to be included in VR. So... It's it's all truly exciting. I mean, you're all welcome to come over and check it out at some point. I mean, it's built for you guys to actually come and enjoy it. Um, we're going to build games, shooters, you name it. Entertainment is going to be there. Um, as to the smart wearables, uh, we wanted to preserve the natural feel and look of the football. But underneath, we're going to run a smart suit. Uh, that smart suit gets the same level of biometrical chip that NASA gets. I have some connections there. So luckily, we're going to be the first ones who will take it outside the space uh, exploration missions and actually put it into something truly exciting in sports. Uh, when we're talking about other smart uh, wearables, we're talking about smart shoes, we're talking about smart uh, shin guards and the goalkeeper gloves. So all of these devices will be able to provide haptics for the virtual ball so the players can actually naturally feel the ball where it is and where the other players are, all the contact and everything. So we're trying to recreate that same level of uh, engagement and contact. Um, with, with the smart shoes, we'll get even more metrics and uh, uh, biomechanical reading. Uh, we retain the copy, uh, the broadcasting rights, and from this point, we are building a new, 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 completely new neural network, because we're going to have a 360 uh, uh, freedom of view. A human cannot process, or even a bunch of humans cannot process uh, enough angles to give us the most exciting angle when things happen. So we employ AI to do it for us. It will capture the best moments. It will place the camera right there where we want it. Or we can let you guys decide whether you want to run your own camera. If, if you want to see the first person view, the, the guy that's shooting at the goalie, or from the perspective of a goalkeeper, you can do that as well. So you'll be able to see through the eyes of players in real time. Imagine, you don't have to wait for the post uh, or replay. You can do it right there, right then. Um we want spectators to be involved. So the uh, what we call volumetric sound is going in. Um, the the cheering crowd can be heard. So all of the players, uh, all of the spectators that connect, can be heard for, from each location. So the crowd is going to be still there, still present. And uh, because it's a hybrid mode, we can broadcast it onto every device uh that people are used to and the vr as well so you don't have to be in vr to to uh, enjoy the the game of football we can still broadcast it onto tv we can still broadcast it onto mobile phones and in vr you just get the premium the upgraded uh, feel and look uh, of the game some of the revenue streams uh, of which we have plenty uh, include uh, a club in a box so we're going to be selling an entire club setup just like your McDonald's is and whatever the, 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 the other businesses, you know, we come in, we set up, 
everything is done to a turnkey solution as a turnkey solution when we give the club owner the opportunity to monetize. So imagine uh, it's going to be a club set up in every place. If you want your club, get in the queue, guys, early because it's going to run like hotcakes. Um, we, we're going to build it for you. All the equipment given, the entire team set up and, and everything, everything in one box. Same thing goes for uh, scouting agencies. I mean, scouting alone uh, generates five billion US dollars a year in real football. So imagine this, there are so many things like uh, football player representation, uh, team representation, uh, collecting analytics, selling analytics, you name it. Uh, there are so many things that scouts, uh, scouting agencies are doing and monetizing. It's a huge, huge uh, revenue stream on itself. And just to give you uh, an understanding, we're going from global continental federations to amateurs to school pl school playgrounds. We can set up anywhere at the point of need. We're, we're building a, a system where the whole uh, broadcasting, data collection, data capture, and actually broadcast, VR broadcast, is going to be packaged inside a special transformer track just wait until you see the transformer tracks that we we've started working on. It's not on slides because it's super fresh, but I'll I'll show you later. Uh, it's a million dollar truck by itself, uh, but it carries the entire game with it, and you can set up literally on a school playground to play a match against somebody who's in another country. So that's uh, that's all super exciting. And I'm so glad I'm joined to, uh, with Dima, who's who's the energy ball by himself. His introduction made me <laughs> gave me goosebumps. I mean, <laughs> he sold me better than I've ever sold myself. You know, ten times I think. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's the guy, and I'm super excited. And I mean, Dr. Eric himself, you you've heard uh, the stuff that we're building. It's unique. It's world's yeah. first, and it's huge. It's yeah. global brands from the onset global brands we're we're creating new new dimensions now